I'm Charles Edding from HR Harmer Auctions in New York City. And I'm Michael Cortese of Noble Spirit in Pittsfield, New Hampshire. And this is Conversations with Philatelists. Now, Michael, today we're speaking to Isabel Klemko, which I think is going to be really interesting because um, when when the outbreak started and when um, you know shows started being canceled and you had a lot less of the in-person uh, side of, of, of the stamp trade, I think everyone immediately began looking, what can we do to make these months easy on people? What can we do to, um, you know, sort of create continuity in the hobby? Because people are not going to be able to attend shows in person. They're not going to go to seminars or um, in exhibitions or whatnot. And I think everybody quickly started trying to figure out what the next step was, what right. can they do for people. And we talked to, um, uh, you know, Gary Lowe at the APS. The APS has been doing a lot in that regard in terms of, um, you know, sort of creating this transition between in-person shows and virtual shows. Um, but I'm not sure anybody's been doing it better, at least from what I've heard, than the PTS, the Philatelic Trader Society, over in the UK. They're the ones who run Stamp X twice a year, which is one of the big, um, biggest shows in, in England. And Isabel is, I think, going to be able to sort of walk us through what their plans are and what they've got lined up for October 1st through 3rd, which is when the first ever virtual StampX will take place. Yeah, I'm excited. I've never been to a StampX before, uh, uh, but I registered for this one. Um, we signed I, up I for a booth. I think there's going to be a lot of people in that boat yeah. who, who haven't had the time or money or whatnot to be able to get over to, to London for StampX, and now they can... Um, sort of get a taste of what it's like. And, and you guys even have a, a booth, I believe. Yep. Yeah. It, it's going to be, uh, we're excited. It's going to be a good experience. Well, I, I, to and I, I'm excited to have Isabel on to um, sort of walk us through what they've got lined up. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let's get her in. Absolutely. Let's say hello to her. <laughs> Hi, Hi, Isabel. <laughs> nice to meet you both. How are you? Good. Good. How about yourself? Yeah, not bad, thank you. Yeah, so first thing in your morning, end of my day, I think. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking a couple minutes to chat. Well, that's okay, no Absolutely. worries. Absolutely. Yeah, so um, you are the uh, marketing director of the uh, StampX shows? Yeah, sure. I am the, uh, so yeah, I'm PR and marketing director um, director or consultant for um, okay. uh, the PTS, so the Philatelic Traders Society. Um, and I work um, on the yeah, StampX, uh, virtual StampX, and of course the PTS as well. So across all uh, three brands, yeah. So, nice, nice. Yeah, it's so really exciting. we just kind of wanted to um, to know how it was how it was going. I mean, I see that a ton of interest. Um, you guys have been doing this for so long, but this is your first kind of uh, venture into the the virtual world, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean. Um, so StampX has been going for um, quite some years now, and we're um, based in the the actual show um, is based in London in the Business Design Center, um, and it runs twice a year, um, and it's a really really great um, uh, actual show. <laughs> so we have over like a hundred brands, and we do lots of other activities as well. Um, and obviously, this year, due to the global pandemic, um, lots of the lots of shows were cancelled, and um, we obviously, you know, have to think very, very um, seriously about our not only our traders but the customers and what to do. Um, and at the time that we made the decision, there just wasn't any. Um, you know, real clarity on where we would be in October and actually mm -hmm. look, you know, what, look where we are sort of thing. Um, so we decided that we'd make the show virtual. Um, and I think, you know, the really exciting thing about making this show virtual is that we have been able to um, really reach out globally to so many philatelists all over the world. Um, and it's really made um, the show and philately so so much more accessible and that's what's really exciting because um you know the the actual physical show will always be there which is which is brilliant in itself and obviously you cannot replace meeting people face to face uh but being able to have a cup of tea or a glass of wine at the end of the day and mm -hmm. log on to a virtual show and be able to connect with people is like you know is amazing and if you're in london and you want to talk to someone in sydney you know, yeah. then you have the opportunity to do that. So it's really, yeah, that's what we've done. And it's very, very exciting. Yeah, that's crazy. I see it's it's 24 hours. So it's just nonstop yeah. philately yeah. for exactly. three straight days. 
So there's a couple of really cool things. And I can actually give you a little sneak peek of the show in a, min a minute as well. So fantastic. I can show you, it's not, um, you know, 100% um, finalized yet, but I can definitely um, give you a sort of like a, a, like an overview. Um, but yeah, I mean, like the cool things are that it is, so it's from the 1st to the 3rd of October. So we're like 20 days away or something now. Um, and um, it is, so you basically, I'm based in London, so I do everything on UK time. Um, so at 8 a.m. on the 1st, we are opening and then we close literally 72 hours later. So 24 hours a day, you can like come join and like chat to people. So, you know, at 3 a.m. UK time, I should be able to log on and have a lovely chat with someone in Hong Kong who will be <laughs> in the morning and like, you know, so it's really cool. And we are, you know, there's so many people who are getting on board with that 24 hour um, and making sure that they are like there. So like the Royal Philatelic Society London, they are um, going to have someone, a representative from all over the world who are coming together. So their stand is manned 24 hours, which is just wow. really wonderful. Wow. Yeah, really cool. That's crazy. So yeah. go ahead, Charles. I, I was just going to say, you know, I've, um, obviously, I, I've been to Stamp X in person once and it was fantastic, but it is tough for a lot of people from the States, from Asia and, and um, uh, Australia and whatnot. Um, I would imagine this is going to introduce a lot of people to new British stamp dealers. I assume this will make a lot of connections that could potentially last, you know, even once we're through the pandemic and once shows resume, I, I could see this building a lot of bridges that will have long lasting um, uh, you know, uh, effects in the hobby. Do you anticipate that? Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, that would be wonderful if, like, it, it did, right? Because, I mean, that's that's kind of like half the thing is building those relationships. And I think that, you know, it has opened up the, um, I suppose, the awareness to, to so many other brands and for the Stampex brand as well. So, yeah, we'd, we'd, it would be brilliant if those brands were, you know, still engaged. And I think that, you know, the physical show is definitely there and definitely has a presence. And obviously we're in this very unusual time at the moment, but isn't it wonderful that we can now have this virtual show? And, you know, hopefully that will continue as well because both of them together, you know, how how amazing is that, that you can have both, both kind of concepts. And I think that, you know, there's so many awful things about this, you know, pandemic, but actually it's, you know, some of the things that are happening, like, you know, opening up the virtual world is, is incredible. That's like been just a, having this Zoom chat here. <laughs> yeah, that, that's been a common uh, trend on our on the podcast. Has been how there's a lot of things that maybe should have been happening over the last couple of you know technology should have been implemented in certain ways, and maybe people have been reluctant or um, you know hesitant to dive in head first. But certainly the last couple of months have forced us all to um, think outside the box. And I think it's great to hear that this is something that will um, ideally continue on. Even again, I can't wait to get back to Stamp X and get back to Islington to, to go to the show in person. But um, again, this, this would be something fantastic if there is a virtual component in conjunction with the physical show moving forward. So I think you're right that, um, you know, for all of the negatives, obviously it has, um, you know, maybe forced us all to get with the times a little bit more. Yeah. yeah. So do you do um, register? I've never been to a Stamp X myself, but do yeah. people register ahead of time just like they are with this one? So you're, you're 20 days out. Do you have kind of a comparison as to the participants each year in the physical compared to the virtual? Yeah, no. Unfortunately, at Stampex, you can just literally turn up and walk in the door. Like, <laughs> um, you can. Um, so what we do at Stampex is, at the physical show, is you um, you just literally come and so you can walk in and you can, you know, then go around the show. And that's one of the things that we actually wanted to keep is that, that the, you know, that it is free. Mm -hmm. um, the reason that people are asked to sign up is so that you can um, take away, like, um, uh, catalogs and things from people's stands and you can just get those easily emailed them to emailed to you rather than actually the necessity to uh, register it's actually a functionality of the it's part of the enjoyment of the experience um, but at Stampex so you definitely have to come it's very cool um, so um, it's like you walk in well Charles you'll have been so you're like you walk in don't you and then you kind of like you know you're greeted with the, the booths that are there the stands we call them stands um, and then there's everyone from like Royal Mail, Mark Bloxham, Stanley Gibbons, uh, you know, Stink, they're all there. Um, and then we also have like the Court of Honor, um, a series of Stampex Talks, the exhibition. So very much what we will have in the virtual show, we uh, in the physical show, we brought to life in the virtual show. Yes, that makes yeah. sense. <laughs> yeah, I saw a lot of that. You've got like 
10 talks and you've got yeah. the museum of flattery you've got a kids corner so I, I saw you've got people registered from 51 different countries yes, but yeah. i guess my the the question i was thinking about before yeah. was do you anticipate more people will come virtually than attend uh physically um i think so because yeah. Well, you know, as a personal opinion, I think yeah. I would think so because um, it's just much more accessible, isn't it? So if right. you're uh, sat at home in Sydney and you can't afford to get a flight to London or something, it, it allows you the the affordability of, of doing that, and it sort of you know opens up the um, it opens us up to a much much wider audience, I think, because mm -hmm. of because of that, um, or if you know. You know, you can't necessarily make the the first to the third. The, the platform is actually still there for the next twenty seven days afterwards. So you can wow. also pop and have a look. Yeah, I to, saw that to the show as well. How does that How does that work? How does that operate? Um, so you just basically uh, register and uh, at the show. So and then you can go back and and have a look. The, the, what won't be there is the the live functionalities. So you won't be able to chat directly to anyone, uh, anyone, and it won't be like that live functionality for seventy two hours. But for instance, the talks, they'll all be recorded and they'll be uploaded to the platform. So if you miss one of the talks, like twenty four, I think it's forty eight hours after the talk, um, it will be there in the auditorium, and you'll be able to go in and uh, watch it. And so you were sort of like won't miss out. You'll just miss that live the live functionality of being able to ask questions and things like that. Um, yeah. Would you like to see the see the platform where it is? Would that be yeah, absolutely. A thing to do? I can um, make that happen. Because Michael, you've got a booth, don't you? Yes. Yeah. We actually signed up um, yep. a while ago. Yeah. So let me show you the. Here we go. So when you go and um, register for the show, so you'll basically, um, you head to stampex.vfairs.com and you'll be greeted with this page and you simply register now. So you click on this button, register now, and it comes up with a simple uh, sign up form, which is basically name, um, email address, um, and uh, country. And hence why we know how many people are coming from different countries. Hmm. Um, and um, on the on this page, the, um, the 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 registration page, you'll find the show dates um, about the show, um, some highlights, so just what's happening, so the stamp talks and the Museum of Philately, and then you'll also find the um, the timings that the show's open depending on where you are, which is quite helpful, I think. And then obviously, Spink, our, our show is proudly uh, supported. Uh, sponsored by Spink, which is brilliant. Uh, some of our show partners, um, and these are our premium booth holders and our partners. Um, and then, um, so I can log in now, but but you won't be able to log in till the first. So, but I can log in because I've got um, admin. So when you log in, you'll be greeted with this the lobby. Okay. Um, so it's still in um, development, so bear with us. Um, but basically, um, this is the booth hall over here. So that's where you'll be able to uh, meet all your uh, dealers, auction houses, philatelists, societies, magazines, partners. They'll all be in there. And um, your information desk is here. So you'll be able to click on that head to get some information. Spink Auditorium is here, which is where the stamp talks will be held. And the Museum of Philately, which is our cult of honor, will be here. And these here are our premium booth holders. Um, so if we head to the booth hall, I can I can show you around some of the booths. Should we have a look at your uh, your booth? Um, sure. <laughs> Noble spirit, right? Yeah. This is fast. There you go. So that's your booth already made. Huh. Oh, and that's what we're doing here today. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Now, how come um, he's better dressed than Michael? <laughs> <laughs> There's Michael. <laughs> um, and this is, yeah, so this is your booth. So you've got, you've, it's already been uh, obviously designed. Um, I don't know where you're on the design process, but it's got your description and information here. Um, and then it's got your links here. So your, your website, your eBay store, stamp market index, your social media feeds. Um, and then this important functionality here, which is your, the chat function. So as a um, attendee to the show, I'm going to click on the chat function. 
and then that will take me to this page and then I'm going to have a chat with Michael not literally because obviously you're there um but this is the page where i can have a chat with michael so his name will come here um and then um any users will be there um so i can go back to the show um and you can see it's a very very simple system it's just a yeah. scrolling a scrolling banner system um so you just basically um scroll along the show space um and all this will be in a different order um, so um, this shows the the banner will be um, uh, all the uh, stands will be in a different order. They're not they're not finished yet. Oh, that's cool. Um, so and each okay. of the booths will be made. Sorry, I just don't want to. Um, uh, I don't know where they are in their booth mm -hmm. making. So um, and then back into the lobby. So then you go back into the lobby and you can oh decide to attend a talk. So that will be in the Spink Auditorium. Um, and the whole schedule will be here of the 10 or so live talks wow. um, that will be in here. And then you can also head to the Spink auctions here. Um, so that will be a direct link. And then if you've got a question or want to find something, you just head to the, head to the information stand. Um, and you can click to buy your smiler sheets or go to Stamps in the Attic, which is really cool. So Stamps in the Attic is a... Uh, functionality for those people who might have inherited a stamp collection or who basically want to get something appraised and they can get free appraisals from various different dealers who have all signed up to take part. Um, and then in the Museum of Philately, um, so this is the Court of Honour, which is really, really cool. So this is basically um, collection, very, very rare collections held by private dealers, uh, private collectors, sorry. Um, and you can view them all here. So I don't want to uh, click, otherwise you'll see them. <laughs> right. <laughs> nice surprise. Uh, but this is all the information here um, and a little video and things. So quite cool. Wow. Really cool, yeah. What, what, what impresses me, I think a lot of societies and shows and organizations have been great at adding online content, talks and auctions and whatnot online. Um, but this really replicates the feeling of exploring a show. This is a really immersive, um, uh, again, it, it's not just logging onto YouTube or Zoom to watch somebody speak. This is, you feel like you're at a show as much as you can from the comfort of your chair. This is, um, this is incredible. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's really, it's really cool. It's really, really exciting. I think there's also so much going on, you know, so um, with the 10 talks, we've got various different people like um, the Royal are doing three talks, which is really exciting. So they're doing, their experts are doing a talk on the Saturday and they're doing a, um, like, uh, like a, uh, a review of their books. So three of their books they're talking about. Um, we've got on the 1st of October, we're hosting um, a post crossing meetup to celebrate World Postcard Day, which is really exciting. We're doing like a little talk on the history of the postcard. Um, we've got like uh, Bill Barrel who's doing a talk on line graved uh, made easy. We've got Carl Louis doing a talk. So we've got like a really robust, exciting talk schedule. Um, oh, the so New York Collectors Club, they're also doing a talk, which should be really good. Um, and we've, we've funded the schedule so that it also um, really connects with people from around the world as well. So it's not just, although I'm based in London, it's not that I can just, it's only anyone in the UK in my right. time zone who can go to these talks. It's anyone when you're everywhere who can, who you can go. And yeah, that was the, you know, the beauty of this is like, I really did want it to like seem like you're at a show. Like, so that is, you know, what we've managed to accomplish. I think, I think it's quite exciting, you know, palm trees and all. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's quite immersive. It's, it's definitely different. Nothing that I would have imagined it to, to be like. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. I'm, I'm blown away by this. It's fascinating to, yeah. to see. I like the scrolling experience, almost like you're walking down the, yeah. the hall. Yeah. Um, some booths have, I'm going to, I'll stop sharing. Um, some of the uh, booths have like unique discount codes. A lot of them do actually, a unique discount codes and unique offers. It's one of the reasons why you should sign up to the show. Um, and if I scroll too much, you'll be able to see them. <laughs> so, <laughs> and some right. of the booths haven't, it, the, the, um, we're just working through um, the build now and getting it all signed off. And uh, one of the last things we're going to do is like move the, uh, the booths around so there'll be the different booths at different um mm -hmm. uh, at different uh points so yeah but we've got some amazing people signed up so you know um exploring stamps graham's going to be there um and punk philatelist he's going to be there we've got like stamp magazines 
um, who are coming down as well. So you can go and speak to the editors and things. Um, obviously, you know, the APS, um, the Ro Royal Mail, um, Malta Post have designed a, a unique virtual a virtual Stampex cover. So there's wow. some really, um, you know, great things that are, that are happening. So it's, it's, it's getting more and more exciting as I think as time goes on. Yeah, yeah, that definitely sounds like you guys went all in for this and it, it's um, it's proving worth it, looks yeah, like. Yeah, 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 it should be really good, yeah. And obviously yeah. it's something that you can just keep building on. So like, you know, this is our first year, so like we're just sort of like learning the, um, the software and learning everything, but actually there's so much you can do. Like the ideas we had were so mm -hmm. much more and obviously, you know, that in itself is really exciting and how I think that we can naturally see this engagement and um, increase of social media and like that kind of, in, you know, interaction as well. And I think that, you know, for the hobby, like lots and lots of people have been more and more engaged, haven't they, with with collecting. And I think, you know, yeah. um, over the last six months, I think that's exciting, especially online. Yeah, yeah, the the decision to go virtual like this must have been a, been a tough one. Um, so do you think you're, going to keep with it every single year kind of have that this almost this kind of mirror image along with the physical appearance as well oh so such a good question i mean from a personal point of view i mean it would be amazing mm -hmm. um but obviously but is the, the work are... put into that is must be tremendous yeah, yeah no it, it yeah yeah I mean, it is, but wouldn't it be brilliant if we can have yeah. this every year? It would be so much fun. So I think that, you know, hopefully we would be able to, but obviously like um, Stampex is run by the PTS, which is run by a council as well. So it's like a full on, mm -hmm. you know, council decision to yeah. decide what would what would happen. But from a personal opinion, yeah, I mean, amazing. Cause it just gives, you know, it just connects us with so many more people. And I think, a, a, you know, like a younger audience as well from around the world, cause they, you know, yeah. You know, if you're, I don't know, some, you know, if, if it's going to give you that sort of like opportunity just to quickly log on and have a look, why right. wouldn't you? And personally, I don't see it cannibalizing the in-person show experience. No. So people who are going to go to Stampex are always going to go to Stampex if it's offered. I can only see it growing the audience. And, you know, again, I, I don't see anybody saying, oh, I'm going to sit at home and not go to Stampex this year because I can do it online. You're always going to yeah. have that built-in audience of people who will go to London for the show. I, I, so I can only see it, um, again, growing the reach of the show. Um, yeah. If, if anything, it'll bring people into the physical one because they'll yeah, attend the virtual one and say, I want to... Stampex, how great yeah. would it be to go to your first real Stampex? So. Exactly. They're the same price. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, well uh, hope, yeah. hopefully after the 3rd of October, you know, once the dust is settled, uh, maybe we can talk again and do sort of a recap on how things went from from your perspective yeah of course of yeah. course definitely we can do and, that uh, and, yeah and and michael and i will both uh, certainly be in attendance and probably amazing bump into you there yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> amazing well hopefully we'll have some feedback michael as well from your your stand when you you know yeah. you can let us know how it goes and hopefully you'll get lots of people attending and saying hello and interacting and stuff yeah it's exciting well thank you for taking the time to do this to to meet with That's us here okay. and uh that's okay. It's so nice to meet you both as well. Yeah, you as well. You as well. And again, I, I, I would love to, to talk afterward. Again, Michael yeah. and I will have our opinions, and we'd love to hear your uh, your feedback. Yeah, no, but definitely. Let's, let's do a recap. Yeah, absolutely. Perfect. It sounds good. Great. Great. Well, thank you. <laughs> nice to meet you both. You yeah. too. You too. Well, that was super informative. That was, I, that, that walkthrough, I love. It'd yeah. be nice to have somebody share their screen with us too. It, uh, yeah. it felt like we we're having a little presentation put on for us. <laughs> Well, which is kind of the I, point. I, I yeah. felt like I was being, it was like a, like a guided tour of virtual Stampex, which is really mm -hmm. cool. You go to an yeah. APS or something and they have their, um, you know, tour schedule. This is like our own little private tour, a sneak peek of um, what we're going to get to experience ourselves on October 1st. Yeah, it looks fantastic. I think the fact that it's 24 hours is going to be huge, you know, for for attracting a global audience. Absolutely. I think the, the the thing she said about the speakers being spaced out so that it's not just people in the UK tuning in for on UK time is is fantastic. And doing it virtually, you don't have to worry about the weather in London in October as well. No, no, um, <laughs> no threat of rain or anything. We'll right, be, right. Don't attack an umbrella. Yeah, yeah. Um, it 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 will. Uh, <laughs> 
<clears throat> yes, totally. Yeah. Uh, tried to power through that. Um, no, I, I think it'll be great. I, I, I'm excited. I'll visit you. I'll visit your, your stand. Uh, during yeah, the show. it'll be great. Maybe I can uh, sell you some stuff. I was going to say, I'll, I'll leave a little chat message see if you're selling anything I collect and we mm -hmm. can um, do it. And then we can report back. Yeah, I think it would be great to talk to her again, but I'd also love to hear yeah. your thoughts um, as, a, as a dealer. If, if this right. is something that you're interested in doing more of in the future, or if it's successful and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And you saw our little, um, I gave us our own, uh, I noticed our little uh, banner. Yeah, what are you even banner? Yeah, that's it. Yeah. A little bit. I noticed you've got the, uh, yeah. the stamp market index. Yes. And the, yeah. And the conversations with the latalists. And it's, it's fun. You don't have to, um, print, you don't have to go to you know Kinko's or whatever to. Right. Yeah. And then, uh, show. exactly. You print too many things that cost so much money. This was, this was affordable as a, as a dealer. It was affordable, much more affordable than buying plane tickets to, to London and, and, and everything. So I think if, if they, they offer this as a solution for dealers even in the future when there's a physical show and they can't make it or they just can't cut out the time, they can't, uh, they don't want to put the, the investment into traveling all the way to London, um, if they can also have a virtual presence, um, that I, it'll be interesting. It'll be, it, it'll be, it'll they be can take it so many ways. Can, if they can balance the physical yeah. and the physical, well, you know, can you interact? Maybe they can, you know, have, um, have some way to chat with you know, people live at the show with people live online or yeah that like a like kiosks or something they can log into to view the exactly. the virtual uh dealers there it, they could take it so many ways and it's vr it, helmets yeah yeah um, yes like Google, yeah Google exactly last for stamp shows so that we can actually, exactly yeah um, see yourself there would be like, you know we joke about this but in a couple of years who knows yeah i mean <clears throat> oculus I, I rifts are getting cheap now have, yeah this is the first one and it looks this good right like, right this, which this, is this, this should be like several years into the planning, you would think, but they've put this together just since the outbreak. Right. Um, what's it going to be like in a couple of years? Again, I joke about virtual reality stamp shows, but hey, yeah. knocking on our door. It'll be interesting. This is um, th this was a great look into what's there. I'm really excited to attend. Um, I'm really excited to be a dealer. You know what? I, I I'm interested to see if this expands your reach and, and finds new customers for you. I really yeah, I'm sure. You know, I'm sure it will. That's why we kind of wanted to participate, is because it's StampX. Well, let's touch base after you know during after the show and uh, and, and see how it goes. I'm I'm fascinated to see how this plays out. Yeah, yeah, I'm looking forward to it a lot. <laughs> well, uh, people can listen to us on the usual platforms: Google, Spotify, Apple, yep. YouTube, uh, flatlypodcast.com, flatlypodcast at gmail.com. Perfect. Uh, and and until the next time. Absolutely. Uh, this was fun. Excellent. Talk to you, right. Mike. Thanks.